We are on episode 8 of all of the episodes that we've filmed so far. Uh, Trapped is a spin-off episode. I came up with it because we had some time in between shooting uh, Fight the Bite and In Human Nature and I just miss it. I just miss being a part of uh, being on the set of Cops and Monsters and making all that happen. <sighs> So I decided to bring back Katrina Bryan, who played Jenny in uh, the last episode of Fight the Bite, because um, Laura did a great job of writing that character and I just wanted to see another side of her. So I came up with an idea of Jenny and a Pitts officer, who in this case is Astrid Bennett, who you saw in our Christmas special, uh, Astrid's Secret, uh, being trapped in the kind of a werewolf meeting place where a rogue werewolf hunter, Karis Jones, played by Victoria Gibson, comes along and decides that she wants to kill them all. Uh, so yeah, we hadn't done a Siege episode before and it was just really interesting to me to kind of just have three characters. Uh, we kind of did something similar with Roland's episode on Astro Secret, but it was more of a two-hander than a three-hander. Um, so that's kind of what we wanted to do. On the cast for this one, we brought back Joanna Hart, who plays Astrid. Um, <laughs> After Astrid's secret spoilers, she dies, uh, she would kind of email me and be like, I would love to come back. Uh, and when we were trying to figure out who was going to be the Pitts officer, Astrid was kind of like the most common sense because we hadn't seen much of her. And again, Roland had done a really good job of Astrid. I kind of wanted to see uh, kind of a professional pit side to her. Um, a woman who would do anything to survive. That's annoying, that bleep. Um, so we just decided to bring Astrid back and Joanna was brilliant and was just having too much fun with the gun. So this, so I, I died, um, well, as a zombie, I became a zombie. Um, so I could be hovering around somewhere, you don't know. But um, I, this is a, a kind of prequel to, to what happened. So it's before, it's pre um, Astrid's secret. So this is, we're seeing a different Astrid. We're seeing her at work, you know, in the line of duty, so to speak. Yeah, Katrina, I just wanted to see another side of Jenny, so she was more than happy to come back and I promised her a fight scene and she didn't get to do much of that in Nina the Neurons, if at all. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I've never got a chance to do anything like this. I used to remember doing it at college, back in college, doing stage combat. This is so much fun. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, you forget, you do actually have to be prepared to take a few knocks you know, when you're rolling on the floor, you suddenly go, oh, my knees are sore. <laughs> but you know, it feels really like you're getting stuck in. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, and we cast the role of Karis Jones, aka The Hunter, uh, on Cast and Call Pro and Star Now. And we saw a lot of audition tapes from all around the UK, uh, but there was just something about uh, Victoria. She kind of reminded me of Amanda Abington. Uh, if you don't know who that is, look her up. Um, and so it was just something nice about her and she just she was just a geek like us and we always love it when geeks work on the show it just makes it that a little bit more fun uh i actually applied online i saw a casting call for the part um and i don't usually get casters things like this i get i get a victim a lot of the time and uh things like that so it was, you know something a, ju a juicy female role really um, i found it appealing But Karis, uh, the hunter, uh, she isn't really all that bad. I'm sure at one point she was quite nice. Um, but she's out for revenge. She wants to kill Jenny for killing her sister. And that's kind of consumed her and turned her into the hunter. Um, and it was just kind of really interesting to do. And to have that dynamic of three women on set was quite nice. Um, I don't know if that's why it was a smoother shoot. We had a few different personnel changes that on that on this one. Uh, and things kind of just went a bit differently. Opening in a bit. Come on, Jenny. 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 Come on, Jenny
coming into it, somebody talking a bit here. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Important bit comes up, right? <laughs> Oh, the only bit. <laughs> I want to fix that. So actually, I'm just going to get a whole check in on before we get to the fight bit. And when the fight bit starts, we're all in the same shop. Josh here, which gets a stash dodge, fish, bash over there. Yeah, we brought back Carter Ferguson, who is a fight director and a director and a writer and a producer in Scotland. I, I worked with Carter a few years ago on my web series, Nighty's Day. He did all the fights for us on the first series. Um, that's a lie, it was the second series. Sorry, Carter. Uh, and he's worked on a couple of episodes of Cops and Monsters as well. He was responsible for killing Sophie Aldridge's character, so blame him, not me. Yeah, yeah, no, I like I like working on Fraser stuff. It's all, we all He always asked me to do some crazy thing. We'll get werewolf fighting today, and uh, no surprise there that Fraser's got something like that on the go. So now this this is cool because it's it's usually a little bit different from what I'm used to doing, um, and I've got no problem with that. We had a rehearsal day beforehand where we went to the location, and I, I just say to Carter, um, "Here's the, the start of the fight, and here's the end of the fight, and it's your job to make it look cool. Uh, it's werewolf fight, it's supernatural, go mad." And I just step back. And we spent a good three or four hours just working that out, each what each section was going to be, and we filmed it. So when we got there the next day, that the hard work of blocking it was kind of done, so we could go to the cast. Remember, this is what we did. A few tweaks on the day just to change things, and we agreed how many shots we needed to make that fight work. Today, um, well, as I say, yesterday we rehearsed what we were going to do today, but the rehearsal um, involved us coming up with what we were going to be rehearsing so we, we, we worked with the actors to try and make something work with the script and uh, by the end of the rehearsal yesterday we had action that they would be doing and ways to do it safely and we had 12 specific shots we wanted to get to make the fight hold together so today um, Fraser blocked through the action of the whole scene they shot about a page and a half of dialogue leading up to the fight and then from that point onwards I was calling the shots um, working with the DOP and the rest of the team to try and patch together the fight with these 12 shots we discussed altering them a little bit maybe dumping one or two of them all together and then just kind of hopefully getting the whole thing linked so that in the edit we, we do something called shooting to edit which means that I, I we know what the edit will be when we shoot it might not exactly work the way we're planning it but it means there's no gaps there's no problems and because there's nothing worse than putting a scene together and then finding you've got like one second of it isn't there and suddenly it jumps so i just was leading that more or less with the DOP and just checking that Fraser was happy with it all along. Hi everyone, uh, hi everyone. Here we are on the set of Cops and Monsters and this episode is called Trapped. This is one of our uh, amazing mini swords that we're shooting today. Uh, I'm going to take you on a little tour of the set and show you a bit of what's happening. Uh, this is Spencer. Spencer's my beautiful assistant for the day. Assistant producer. Say hi! Hi there. <laughs> so he's going to walk around with me and we're going to show you what's happening, so follow me. We are set up here, this is basically the setting of a Fight the Bite meeting, uh, which you'll find out more if you watch, watch the series, so I'm not going to reveal too much about that. Um, we have obviously lighting in the camera guys, getting the set all, Hi. Getting the set all ready. Um, over here, very important, is the biscuits. Yes. The most important part of the day, I would say, the biscuits and the juice. Um, so I'm going to take you out, and we're going to meet some of the some of the crew and cast. Okay. So out here we have this is sound. Uh, these guys are setting up, getting ready. Hi. Hello. Busy, 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 busy. <laughs> some of our crew here we have Alan, who is the assistant director. Uh, we have Chris, who is Alan's assistant assistant director. Um, Ellie, who is our director of photography, just here, signing away, signing her life away for the day. Um, this is our director, Mr. Fraser Cool. Hello, goodbye. I'm working, go away. Thank you. Uh, this is the lovely Katrina, Hello. who will be appearing. Uh, I've just had a little bit of wool for pride. Quite excited that. A little bit of dark of the lips. Looking. <laughs> Amazing. Um, you'll see she's doing a lot of exciting stuff in this episode. This is Sonia over here. I Sonia, our still <laughs> photographer. She's not getting away with it this time. No. But she's amazing. Can't do it without her. 
Over here, we have, oh, we have Joanna, who's trying to escape. <laughs> She's the other, one of our lovely actresses who is appearing in the episode. The coolest zombie that we've ever had, I would say. Uh, again, you need to go back and watch them to know what I'm talking about. And Carter, he's our fight director and choreographer. Amazing job. I mean, you see what he's done with this. It's just this. Out of this, out of this world, fantastic. We're all great. We're all, we're all, we're all, we're all amazing. Amazing. Okay, around here we have, oh, assistant. That's me, yeah. Title, I, I, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll take that title. Why not? Yeah. And here we have makeup over here. Very important because we have some special effects in a moment. And this is Victoria, who's also appearing in the episode. Hello, hi. And this is Leah, she's our chief makeup artist on set. She's amazing, she's had her coffee now, so we're all very happy. Um, we're doing some special effects on Victoria, aren't we? Yeah, well, we've got a scar going on. We've got some scars. Is it on yet? No? Uh, yeah. Can we see? I want to have a repeat. Can we see that? That looks really good. Very good, very convincing. Um, and you see Joanna's back in. Back in the chair for more makeup. So that's everyone here. And behind the camera, obviously, we have the lovely Julie who's doing her behind the scenes. Um, so this is it, we're just about to go on set, do some rehearsals um, and then get shooting so you'll be seeing some more of the action throughout the day and we hope you enjoy and when the episode's done we hope you enjoy that too. You see a darker side to her, I think you get a little bit more depth of her story. Uh, the first time we saw her she was very much um, just the leader of the group trying to sort of be the responsible adult, getting everyone to think about being or Fight the Bite was the name of that art support group. Uh, whereas in this episode, it's like it's come to a head. Um, the w people have been killing people in her pack. So she's had to come to the point where she's willing to sacrifice herself um, to stop her the dilemma she has with being a wolf and to try and put an end to the killing of her friends. So it's much deeper and a bit more violent. I mean, not everyone knows a werewolf hunter. I know I certainly don't. Um, but I kind of had a massive girl crush on Buffy, as most as most of us will have in our lives at some point. Um, so, I mean, in terms of the character, just kind of channeling like everyone's badass kind of womanly picture. Uh, but approaching it, I mean, it'd be really easy to be too heavy. But um, yeah, it's, it's good, it's been really good fun, so it's, it's hard to enjoy it and then kind of bring it down to trying to kill somebody. <laughs> um, I think we, we see her much more at work, business, you know, day to day, what she does in her job. Um, whereas in the Christmas special, we really did see her at home, a little bit more vulnerable, um, you know, obviously her daughter had gone missing and, and all those sorts of things. Where in this episode, you know, she doesn't know any of that's going to happen yet. So she's just at work, getting on with life, doing what she has to do. Um, so a much more kind of businessy Astrid. Best bits of this episode was just watching the fight scene happen and just getting all that done. We we try not to run over and we try and schedule a decent amount of time so we're not really taking the piss out of anybody for being there. I know we are paying people but uh, we don't want to take advantage of that regardless. So it's just a case of getting everyone wrapped. Uh, there was a few moments where we had to kind of maybe miss a couple of shots out that would have been nice, just little flourishes, just to make sure that we got finished on time. But I think we wrapped like six minutes to spare or something stupid like that. And that, children, is a win. That's what we like to do. That is a wrap on episode eight. <laughs> So what is next for Cops and Monsters? We are going back to the storyline of Volume 1 where we will finish off the Lycan A202 slash Crimson Murderers storyline where Maya um, will face off of the cult of many faces. Maya will confront 
the cult of many faces, too many faces. Uh, and we will wrap up that storyline before we decide on what's happening with series two. Yay, we're mad. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for giving us money, for pledging, for getting on the Indiegogo and the Kickstarters to make sure that we can make these episodes. Um, again, we would not have a show without you guys. So please don't think we're like, yay, money, money, money. We are so grateful. Every time a pledge comes in, we are so grateful. Um, so thank you. We hope that you enjoy Trap. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.